Hello friends in this video tutorial we will discussing on how can we insert data using Ajax in Code Igniter. This is one more video on Code Igniter Ajax CRUD operation with data tables. In previous we have seen how can we load into data tables by using Ajax server side processing in Code Igniter framework. But in this part we will insert or add data into my SQL database table and code igniter application by using Ajax. So we can insert data into database without page refresh. For inserting or adding data we have used bootstrap models. We will implement form under bootstrap models and this model will be initialized by clicking button and then after we can fill form data and insert data into database by using Ajax request. After inserting or adding data into table then after you will update data of data tables. So we will insert data using Ajax request in code igniter application and display that data on data table without page refresh. We have already made database connection and we have already set base URL in previous video. This is our CRUD database and under this database we have one users table. We will insert data into this table. First we want to create one button for show bootstrap models on web page. So we have write button type is equal to button with data attribute like data toggle is equal to modal, data target is equal to user modal and button text like add. Here user modal is the of modal which we will create. Now we have moved to write HTML code for bootstrap modal, so for this first we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to user modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. Under this division tag we have create one form with method is equal to poster and it is equal to user form. We will use the Sidlinge query code. Under this form we have create one division tag with attribute class is equal to modal content. In this division tag we will define modal content like header, body and footer. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap modal, so for this we have write button type is equal to button and class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title, we have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with text like add user. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal. Under modal body we have defined form field. First we want to create text box for entering first name, so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name, it is equal to first name. Now we want to create text box for entering last name, so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name, it is equal to last name. Then after we have write input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to user image and it is equal to user image. We can select image for user from this file tag. Lastly in HTML modal code we have defined division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer and in this division we have defined one button type is equal to button class is equal to button and button default bootstrap class and data dismiss is equal to model. Here modal footer class is used to define the style for the footer of the modal and by using this button we can close bootstrap modal.
In this modal class we have defined one more button for submit form data, so we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to action and value is equal to add. By clicking this button we can insert form data. So our modal is read and we have already linked this modal to add button. Now we have moved to write query code on user form submit, data will be inserted on submit form event. So we have write dollar document with on method, under this method we have first write submit event, then after we have write form id user form and one event function. When form will submit it then this code will be execute. Under this we have first write event dot prevent default function, this method will prevent form data from submitting. Then after we have write first name variable is equal to dollar first name which is an id of text box with value method. This method will get first name text box value and store into this first name variable. After this we have defined one more variable last name is equal to dollar with last name which is an id of last name text box with value method. This method will get value of last name text box and store under this last name variable. Then after we have defined one more variable like extension, under this variable we want to store extension of selected file, so we have write dollar with selector like user image which is an id of input type file with value method dot split method with dot delimiter with pop method with to lower case method. This code will return extension of selected file and store that extension under this extension variable. After this we have write if statement with condition like query dot and array function with two argument. In first argument we have write extension variable in which we have store extension of selected file and in second argument we have write allowed extension in array format is equal to minus one. This condition will check if selected file extension not available in array of extension, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert with text message like invalid image file. This alert message will pop up if selected file extension not available in array of extension. Then after we want to remove file from input file tag. So we have write dollar user image which is an idle file tag with value method and under this method we have write blank value. This code will remove selected file from file tag and lastly we have write return false statement. After this we have write if statement with condition like first name variable value is not equal to blank and last name variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if both variable has value then it will execute if block of code and if both or one of the both variable has no value then it will execute else block of code. Suppose both or one of the variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert message like both fields are required. But suppose both variable has variable then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax method and under this method we have write url option set to base url function with crowd controller slash user action function. This will send request to this url. In second option we have write method set to post. Here we have set post method for send data. In third option we have write data option. Here we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write new form data object. Here data will send to server in a set of key and value pairs. Then after we have write content type option set to false. Here content type used when sending data to the server. After this we have write process data option set to false. This is for send DOM document or not process data file so it is set to false. Lastly in Ajax method we have write success callback function, if a function to be called if request succeeds. Under this success callback function, we have write alert with message which we have get from function data argument. It will pop up alert message which it will receive from server. After this we want to reset modal form, so we have write dollar with form id user formed with zero index dot reset method. This will reset all form fields. 
Then after we want to hide this modal, so we have write dollar with modal id user model with modal method and under this method we have write hide. This will hide modal. Lastly, in this success function, we want to update data table data, so we have write data table dot ajax dot reload method, this will reload data tables data without page refresh. Now we have moved to CRUD controller and on this controller we have create one user action function. Under this function we will write code for insert data into users table. Under this function we have write of statement with condition like dollar post action variable is equal to add. Here dollar post action variable is form submit button and here a check if submit button value is equal to add then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar insert data array variable and under this array variable we have write first name key with value like dollar this input class object input with post method and under this method we have write first name which is name of form text box. Then after we have write second key last name with value like dollar this with input class object input with post method and under this method we have write last name which is a name of text box. Lastly in insert data variable we have write image key with value like dollar this upload image function. We will create this function for upload user image and get the name of uploaded image from this function. First we have create this upload image function, so we have write function with name upload image. This function will upload image into this upload folder which we have already created in our working folder. Under this function we have write of statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar files user image variable. Here user image is the name of input file tag and this condition will check if the value of this dollar files user image variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar extension variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write string delimiter dot and in second argument we have write name of selected file get from dollar files user image name variable. This function will make an array from selected file name with extension. Then after we have write dollar new name variable is equal to ran function dot dollar extension one index in which it store extension of selected file. Here we have create new name by using ran function and get selected file extension from dollar extension variable one index. After this we have write dollar destination variable is equal to upload folder name slash dollar new name variable in which we have store new name. Here we have define file destination with file name. Now we have write move uploaded file function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar files user image temporary name and in second argument we have write dollar destination variable. This function will upload image to its defined destination. Lastly, in this function we have write return dollar new game. This statement will return the new name of image which we will use in user action variable. After this we have again move to user action function and under this function we have write dollar this with loader class object load with model method. Under this method we have write crud model. This will load all method of crud model in this function. Then after we have write dollar this with crud model with insert crud method with one argument. In this argument we have write dollar insert data variable in which we have store data for insert into users table. This function we will create in crud model. And lastly in user action function we have write echo statement with text like data inserted. This message will be displayed to user at front and side. Now we have moved to crud model and under this model we have write insert crud function with one argument like dollar data variable. This will insert data into user table. Under this function we have write dollar this with database class object db with insert method with two argument. 
In first argument we have write users table name and in second argument we have to define which data you want to insert into users table. So here we have write dollar data which we have get from this function argument. It will produce insert query and execute that query and data will be inserted into table. So friends our code is ready for insert data in code igniter framework by using Ajax method. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that data has been loaded in data tables with update and delete button. Above this table you can see on add button. When we have click on add button then after modal has been pop up on web page. In modal you can see one form with text box fields for first name and last name and for image you can see one file element. Below form we have two button. Add button is used for insert data and close button is used for close modal. In first name we have write Darius and in last name we have write Santiago and select image for this user and click on add button. When we have click on add button data has been submitted and inserted data has been appear under data tables table with user image. That means our code is working. You have already know how can we use Ajax for insert data in simple PHP script what in code igniter framework we have to follow the rules for modal view controller pattern. Here according to modal view controller pattern, Ajax will send request for insert data from view to controller and controller will send request for insert data to modal and modal will insert data and again send request to controller and controller again send request to view page and on that page we have display updated data and data tables table by using data tables reload method. We have used new form data object for sending form data to server in Ajax request. So friends this is my one more tutorial on code igniter Ajax CRUD with data tables and in this video we have learned how insert data into table. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.